Hi guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and we are doing our first episode on Wednesday. I switched up the lineup instead of Wicked Wednesday because it's just <clears throat> about stuff that's like not exactly tied into witchcraft. Once we get through this Wednesday topic, we might switch to more of a musical thing, but I've decided to change it to Wednesday Wicca in the Kitchen, so welcome to Alex in my kitchen. First thing I want to say that you want to do, I have to talk quickly because there's a lot. This is a requested video on how I make my coconut, uh, young Thai coconut and passion fruit yogurt, okay? It's not actually yogurt, there's not a probiotic in it, um, but it's, it's a raw, fully raw breakfast that will just be magically fulfilling to you and you'll enjoy. Now, <clears throat> first thing I want to say is a good way to cleanse yourself um, beforehand is either with a bar of Florida water, Florida water hand soap and you can also use this in the shower. But I have one at the kitchen sink and I have one in the shower and you can cleanse yourself, that's amazing. It smells much, much, much better than the regular Florida water. And then I just have a rosemary hand soap and rosemary is really protective and purifying. So that's a good way to wash your hands, get ready, get started. And let's talk about it all. So basically, you're going to need one, two, three ingredients and a blender and some jars and yourself and your intuition and your magics, okay? And then the three ingredients are coconut, young Thai coconut, fresh or frozen passion fruits. I have frozen over there if we run out of fresh. And fresh grapes, really crunchy ones, you guys. They need to be crunch, crunchy grapes, okay? Really important. I have my hair up in this really interesting, it's all braided so that I can show you because I'm about to hit 200 subscribers and Victoria Bent has made a whole dread Q&A for me. So that's going to be coming tonight, I'm guessing, because today I've already had like 15 new subscribers. I'm so thankful. I love all of you guys. Thank you for joining me. So, back to this coconut yogurt recipe. First thing I want to do is show you. I've already prepped a coconut by cutting it in five slats around. So you cut it in the shape of a, is it called a pentagram? If it's not a square, adding one more side. I don't know what it's called. I think it might be called a pentagram. And then basically, <coughs> you cut it so that, and it's going to take a few whacks. Do you see? Oh, and I don't want to lose the juice because that's all important. Uh, if you don't know what kind of blender is a good blender and you need to get one and you have $100, get a Ninja. Get a Ninja blender. Um, these are brilliant. They blend up anything, you guys. You don't need a Vitamix, in my opinion, okay? Especially for things as simple as this. So we're going to try and get this brand new coconut to be like this. I've cut one. I'm going to try and show you how to cut the next one. You just take the label off. If you can find organic, good on you. But it's very hard to find. And sometimes you can just cut a guide of where you want to hit. So maybe make the shape of the pentag... <laughs> the five, the five shaped square. I don't know what to call it, you guys. Make the shape first and then try and smack into it. I'm going to go really fast because we have to get this all into this video, okay? Keep your thumb out of the way. Because you have to get through all of this and down through the core as well, but remember that the shell is thinner than uh, American brown coconut. And we're using the back of the knife, this part, to just whack into it, and we're holding it up like this. And then, when you feel like you've got it all ready, it's propped up, you need to get your, if you have a glass straw, get your glass straw under there. And at this point, you can have a lovely drink. Oh, what a mixed drink that makes. But let me just show you. Mm. Okay, 
the taste and the smell is out of this world. To me, it tastes nothing like your common American brown coconut in its dried form. It tastes like, and this is going to sound silly because this is a processed food, but it tastes just like rice checks. Do you remember rice checks? In like a really lovely fresh milk. That's what it tastes like to me. Where's my thing? I have the thing. Oh, Pete. Oh, Pete. Well, we're gonna have to improvise, y'all. I don't have my coconut scooper. Where are you? It's okay. Okay, look. See this? You can just spoon it out. And it's a lot softer. Take a bite of it. Taste it, you guys. And it'll just kind of come out in a big white chunk. Plop that into your blender. If there's brown bits on it, chunks of it, peel that off. Because you don't want any chunks in there. That would could cut someone. And we're putting all the juice in the blender. All that beautiful coconut water. This tastes so much different than the coconut water that you get in a bottle. Unless it's the harmless coconut water, which I love. Okay, so you gotta scrape out all the inside of the coconut. I've never once in my life done a video on how to cook something, so let me know what you guys think. I know my head's getting cut off, but I want to make sure I get the table rather. It's like more important, I suppose. So yeah, I've got loads of little mason jars, jars here. I believe they're like half pints. I'm not exactly sure because for whatever reason, you think they'd have figured it out by now, but on mason jars they don't put the the weight the weight on there, which I just don't get that. Like they don't imprint it into the glass. This jar is how many ounces? But why? So I'm just checking through to make sure all of this skin. All of the brown bits are off of this lovely, white, beautiful, soft, velvety coconut. And take a little bite, you guys. Taste that meat. It is so soft and so lovely. And if you get a little bit of that brown skin in there, it's not going to matter. I promise. It's just for, mm, what's the word? It's just for cosmetics. It's just for, for looks. And just scrape all of that goodness out of there into your blender until you get up around that lip edge. There's some hiding in there until you get it all out. Now, if you have coconut milk, like Thai coconut milk, that's what this is, you guys. It's the meat of this blended up into a paste. From what I understand. Now, I'm not a chef, but I've watched cooking shows since I was a little girl. All right, let's get into this one now. This ring's got to go. This one I cut before. Oh, and I love when this happens. Can you see that it looks like a brain? I got my new camera. Hopefully we can see that. Do you see that it's leaking down my arm? Let me let go of the juice. Once I get the juice out of here, I'm going to show you that the top of it looks like a brain. And we have always been told that coconuts, coconut water, it's all brain food, right? And I'm always telling you that nature shows us in its herbs what is our brain food, what's for our lungs, what's for our this, what's for our that, by interesting little clever ways that nature can imprint pictures that we'll know of our, of our um, organs and such, right? So let me show you this. Do you see those? It just, it looks like a brain. It looks like a brain. So it's brain food, and that's what that tells me, okay? So, let's get all of this out of the way. And let's get this in the blender so we can start going. Once this is all in the blender, it's not going to take very long, which is good news. So you put all the milk and all of the meat from the coconut in. And none of the shell, if you can get past that. And now you're going to have thicker ones and thinner ones. That first one was really thin and soft. 
and this one's a little bit thicker. So they're just going to be different in texture depending on how long that they were on the tree. This one is just too thick. I'm going to try and get in. Yeah, I don't suggest that. It's not exactly safe. My normal coconut scoop is like a little tiny um, rice scoop. And it's really cool. It just gets right in there and like goes right between the meat and the shell. But a spoon will do. It just takes a little bit longer. Have you guys ever had young Thai coconut before? The difference is vast, and I'm sure that if you've had it, you can you can back me up on that. I really need to get in there. Yep, time's ticking away. I feel like I'm on a Food Network challenge, you guys. So Wicca in the Kitchen, make sure you check out all the ingredients in my videos that I will try and link below as soon as possible. I have, but if, you, if I don't have them linked, then just go back on my videos and check out, or you can search the Taxidermy Witch Grapes and Witchcraft, the Taxidermy Witch Passion Fruits and Witchcraft, and the Taxidermy Witch Coconuts and Witchcraft. And I've done an herbal video on each of those. That's why I knew that this video would be an excellent one to get started on for my first wick in the kitchen because of that. Because I could just, and now you can read and look up all the magical qualities that will be in this yogurt. This is dangerous, you guys. You should have like a glove and you should make sure you know what you're doing and all of that. If it's your parents' kitchen, kitchen, make sure you have their permission. You know, the normal stuff. Don't get me in trouble and say the taxidermy witch was doing it. <laughs> Not that you would, but if you do, that's just brilliant and fantastic. I love it. Okay, I'm almost there. I've almost got all this coconut out. Like I said, that first one was so much easier. And you're going to want to save these coconut shells, and you, not the little bits and pieces, but the whole coconut shell. You can do magic in here, you can make a poppet in there, you can do all kinds of things. You might could do your own version of a witch's jar, and if you don't know what that is, check out my video on witch's jar if you don't have a, a queasy stomach, I suppose, because that gets interesting, that video. But yes, I mean, every part of life is an ingredient of witchcraft, so we just have to figure out where it can fit in. Okay, we've got the best of it out. Mmm, that tastes good. We made quite a mess, we we'll always do with coconuts. So, for Pete's sakes, we're saving these for later spells, okay? I will do a video on what we end up doing with those. And now, we need to blend this up. If for some reason your coconuts didn't have enough water to make the kind of texture that we're going to make here, then all you want to do is have some extra coconut water on hand, okay? Okay. So, put the lid on your blender. The right way, Jennifer. Lock it down. Pulse. Power. Pulse. Coconut, coconut water. It's definitely watery enough. We don't need any of this. 
Now we can start adding in some of our passion fruit, but it's cool because we can do layers inside of the jar, okay? So I like to keep my grapes whole after I wash them. These ones are quite large, but they're crunchy, so it's really going to give a good texture to these. Now, what I want you to do is set out as many jars as you'll think that you'll want. for the week. Generally I probably out of this will get about six of these small, what are they, half pint jars? But let's just um, do a little demo of three because I like to do things in threes. Okay, I'll finish up the rest after our video is done. And honestly, if I have two of these a day, it's not too many. One in the morning, one for an afternoon treat or something. It's really nice. So cutting these passion fruits in half. Making sure your blender is off. consistency but it is what it is you know you can't measure how a coconut's going to be if we had more coconuts I would probably would have used less water to make it a little thicker so that it's chunkier and it won't be so watery so maybe less water for you start by filling I like to use a magical number like seven seven grapes in the bottom of the glass and then a little bit of the coconut and then a little bit. <sighs> Taste of passion fruit. Make sure you save the skins because when you save them and you dry them, you can use them for magics. And here's a dried one that I've just pulled out of my dehydrator. Look, there's a brain texture in there as well. Do you see that in there? Yay, new camera. Focusing. Love it. So yeah, passion fruit skins and magic. Save them. Save everything. Save your coconut shells. It's all going to be good later. You can use, save your grape vines. All of it. Think of that before you just go willy-nilly throwing stuff in the trash, you know? So, scooping this out because the juice is really precious and putting it right in there, okay? Putting that juice directly in there. There's not much of it in each fruit, so it's really going to flavor your yogurt. There's huge taste in there, you guys. And let me show you the frozen passion fruit before I forget. If you can't find fresh, because they're almost about to go out of season, you can go to your Asian market and get in the freezer section all year round and just thaw it out in some water these frozen passion fruits. Now, I don't think you can dry out these skins because they're awfully watery. They're not crisp and dry, but I'll give it a try and I'll let you guys know. However, if this taste is 10 out of 10, then that frozen taste is 9 out of 10. It's not that far away, but I love to have the skins, so, you know, it's a toss-up. So, get a few grapes in there, a bit of coconut, some passion fruit. Now, another layer maybe three or four more grapes, some more coconut, and some more passion fruit, okay? And I'm going to continue filling up these jars, but we've done it. And we've done it in 18 minutes. I did it. I thought for sure I wasn't going to be able to open up a coconut in 15 minutes on camera for the first time. So thank you guys. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of the Wednesday Wicca in the Kitchen lineup. I think it'll be really fun. And I'm going to start doing some recipes out of Scott Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Wicca in the Kitchen. Because I think that that would be really fun. Get these in your food dehydrator, guys. Because they're going to be so good in magic. So you can use them as little holders for special herbs. And you can burn a candle next to them. Like some protective eggshells, rosemary, cinnamon, anything really. Um, you could bind something inside of it for passion and do some knot magic around the outside. 
there's a spell I just thought of. Let's do it, you guys. Let's do it. We're gonna. So I'm gonna pop these way over here in my food dehydrator, which I always kind of have going. I'm throwing herbs in and out of. Um, you're just gonna want to put a, a couple grapes more on the top, yeah? Because this is kind of a watery one. Not my intention, but it's what happens. It's going to look beautiful either way. It's going to taste beautiful either way. And it's so intriguing. Look at that. <laughs> it's on the outside, sorry. Mmm. Mmm. That gorgeous passion fruit. Now the seeds are crunchy. That's normal, and you're supposed to eat the seeds. The taste is so amazing. Those grapes, every time you get a bite of that grape, it's going to be covered with a little bit of that sweet sour of the passion fruit, and then also that hearty, thick, like, fat and protein of the coconut, and you're going to have that sweet crunch, crunch of the grape on the, on the bottom. So you guys, this is such a lovely, lovely, magical snack, and I hope you enjoy my passion fruit, coconut, and grape yogurt. Yogurt, we didn't add a probiotic. Have a beautiful day, you guys. And let me know what you thought of this video. And if you want to see me do more Wicca in the Kitchen with you guys. All my love, Jen the Taxidermy Witch.